Welcome to my channel. I am going to use my Raspberry Pi to mine some crypto, but since Raspberry Pi is comparatively has lesser processing power, it cannot be used to mine all the cryptos. So Monero coin came as a good option and I'm going to go ahead with that. In this video, I am going to show you step-by-step -step methodology for mining Monero using Raspberry Pi. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so now. That is a real encouragement. Thank you. First of all, you need a Monero wallet for this, and you can create a Monero wallet using the user-friendly Monero Wallet GUI or Exodus. Also, you need a Raspberry Pi. I used a Raspberry Pi 5 with 8GB of memory and a 256GB NVM disk, a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse. For those who might not know, Monero, known as XMR, is a decentralized open-source cryptocurrency that focuses on privacy and security. It's considered by some as a viable option for hobbyist miners because of its relatively low barriers to entry. When it comes to crypto mining, there are several challenges that come to mind. One of the main concerns is hardware limitations. The main issue is the low processing power and the limited amount of memory of the Raspberry Pi. Another issue is profitability. Will the cost of electricity and the initial investment in the hardware outweigh the revenue generated from mining? And then there's the environmental impact of mining, which is a growing concern for many people. The energy consumption of mining rigs is staggering and it's hard to ignore the carbon footprint left behind. But for me, since I run on my hefty solar panel, these can be neglected for the time being. Anyway, this is not a project merely to earn money, but to explore the capabilities of the Raspberry Pi and get along with some crypto mining. First, you need to flash a compatible OS to the Raspberry Pi. I use Ubuntu Desktop. You can use the Raspberry Pi Imager, link is in the description, to flash your disk, either NVMe using an adapter or an SD card with the Ubuntu image. Then connect the Raspberry Pi with the power supply and the monitor and power it on. Make sure the Raspberry Pi is connected to a stable internet connection. Also, it is advisable to connect the Raspberry Pi using a UPS. Then use the terminal to start configuring the Raspberry Pi to mine Monero. So what we're going to do is as follows, as steps, we're going to First of all, we have to install dependencies in Ubuntu packages. We are going to install packages Build Essential, CMake, Libav One Dev, Libsyl Dev, and Liblog Dev. These packages are needed to compile the software code, manage asynchronous networking, secure communication with pools, and to optimize the CPU and other hardware for mining. A brief of these packages is mentioned in the description. Next, download and install the mining software. We will use a popular Monero mining software, which is Xmarig. Then run the Xmarig. To run this, you would need a pool address and a wallet address. Pool addresses can be searched and used while you can use the wallet address from your wallet in Exodus or Monero Wallet GUI, which you have already created. There are several Xmarig pools such as Monorotion, Support XMR and MineAMR. Finally, you can monitor the environment and withdraw once you have a sufficient amount. Now I am switching to the screen capture of the configuration. I am fast forwarding this section since I have a step-by-step -step guide in the description. These steps are shown in the description. You might run into some issues due to inconsistencies with dependencies or packages, but they can easily be corrected. Most common issue would be not having the latest version of the packages and it can be overcome with a simple update. There could be other compatibility issues or inconsistencies with pack gaze. And if you hit any of them, please drop me a comment and I will try my best to help you. This would be the command to start running the Monero mining. Please note that you have the pool address and the wallet address mentioned and when you hit enter, you get the mining going. Bingo! Let's take a closer look at how Monero mining works. Monero uses a proof-of-work consensus algorithm similar to Bitcoin but with a few key differences. The Kryptonite algorithm used by Monero is designed to be more accessible to CPU mining, making it more suitable for hobbyist miners. 
The Raspberry Pi with its quad-core CPU seems like a good fit, however the hash rate is still relatively low compared to more powerful mining rigs. When you compare the Raspberry Pi to a high-end mining rig, the differences are stark. A mid-range graphics card can produce a hash rate as several orders of magnitude higher than the Raspberry Pi. This means a much higher chance of solving blocks and earning revenue. But, the energy consumption and initial investment in a mining rig are significantly higher. So, is mining Monero with a Raspberry Pi actually profitable? The short answer is it's not. The revenue generated from mining Monero with a Raspberry Pi is negligible and it's unlikely to cover the cost of electricity, let alone the initial investment in the hardware. However, it can still be a fun experiment for tech enthusiasts looking to learn more about mining and cryptocurrencies. Despite the lack of profitability, there's still value in exploring the possibilities of mining Monero with a Raspberry Pi. It's an accessible way for people to learn about mining and cryptocurrencies and it can spark an interest in the field. Who knows, maybe someone will develop a more efficient mining algorithm or a new, more powerful single board computer that makes mining more viable. In conclusion, mining Monero with a Raspberry Pi is not a get-rich-quick scheme, but rather a fun experiment for those interested in the tech behind it. It's essential to weigh the pros and cons before jumping into the world of mining. Remember, it's not just about profitability, it's also about the environmental impact and the energy consumption of mining. If you've had any experiences with mining Monero or other cryptocurrencies, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you were interested in this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you with more videos on crypto, do-it-yourself tech and smart home automation projects.